July 20th, 1969, an iconic moment that changed the world forever. Neil Armstrong taking mankind's first steps on the moon. Now a documentary filmmaker is looking to memorialize the event ahead of the 50th anniversary. Joining us right now is Stephen Barber, the CEO and director of Vanilla Fire Productions, the man behind the push for this statue. Stephen, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Marie. It's great to be here. Tell, good morning. Tell us how it all came about. Well, you know, I, I shot a movie in the Capitol about 10 years ago on the Montford Marines, and when they were getting their medals, I had seen this Jack Swikert statue uh, created by a gentleman named George Lundin. I was always blown away by it. I mean, it's the most beautiful statue I've ever seen around the world. And 10 years later, uh, you know, I was hanging out with uh, Buzz Aldrin. I, I don't want to be a name dropper, but Buzz is a friend of mine. When we were talking about the 50th anniversary, and I, and I, went, out, I went out for a mountain bike ride, and I just kind of had an epiphany. I thought, what a great opportunity to memorialize these guys. So I called NASA and I said, would you be interested in 12 moonwalkers? That was my original vision. And NASA was like, well, we can't really do that legally, but I think the Kennedy Space Center might be interested. So that's how it got started. I was just out on a mountain bike ride. I was thinking about the 50th anniversary. I was thinking about the Jack Swikert statue. My father worked for General Motors. He was an engineer in the 60s. And I grew up with Gemini. I grew up with, you know, Apollo and Mercury. And it just all kind of came together. And the Kennedy Space Center loved it. We all flew down. I met with the artists. We all flew down there and met with them a couple weeks ago. And I'm, you know, right now they, they, you know, they don't want to pay for it, but I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to find somebody to basically embrace the the most amazing technological achievement in the history of mankind, of course, the moon landing. Fantastic. Go ahead, Lee. You know, I think it's fascinating timing right now with a lot of people focusing on the renewed, you know, renewal and interest in space with the space force. Um, how are you going about securing the funding? I mean, you say you might do it, but. Well, <laughs> I sold Gandhi his first set of brass knuckles. How's that? I'm a sales guy. <laughs> I'm out looking right now. In fact, in fact, that was before the hunger strike. I actually, you know, I saw our, our good friend Michael Milken. I dropped a package off at Michael's house. He wanted to be part of the space program. Michael, I can help you. You know, <laughs> Maria knows me from the Milken. Maria knows me from the Milken Institute. I've been chasing billionaires for about 15 years. I've raised four million dollars. We have one of the most noble film companies in America, yeah. Vanilla Fire and, and Productions. You're, and you're and we, documentary filmmaker, but you're putting together a film based on this campaign. What, what should we expect to see? Well, basically, archival footage of Apollo 11, um, just the astronauts. I'll, I'll actually show the statues being made. Yeah. Uh, I've already started. We already started shooting at the Kennedy Space Center uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I interviewed all the artists. The, this George Lundin and his brother Mark, they are brilliant artists. I mean, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you know, the number for this is it's really relatively low. It's 750000 bucks. To put your naming rights plaque, it's, I tell people it's a 200-year sponsorship. These statues are going to be here decades well, there's and a you lot know, of centuries after we're it, all gone. Right, Stephen? I mean, look at the, the privatization of space travel right now. You've got SpaceX scheduled to launch again tonight, uh, Strato launch looking to right. change the game completely. What's your take on what's happening Correct. in terms of the privatization, private companies getting into space, and even the Trump administration ramping up as well? Well, it's also inspiring. You go, you go back to 1962 when a young President Kennedy was at Rice University on September 12th. Yeah. And, and he said, we, we choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon because it's not easy. It's hard. Yeah. And that was so inspirational. And 400,000 people came so, together. So and, you know, interesting. The, this president is doing the same Stephen, thing. Stephen, congratulations. We'll be watching.